Hi, Steve from Recall Knowledge back with another Foundry quick tip. This time we're taking a look at a specific module for Pathfinder 2nd Edition called PDF2 Foundry. This module is really amazing because for many people that are looking to run published content, in these case, Adventure Paths or any of the Paizo adventures, you can use this module to hit the ground running with very minimal work on your part. So I'm going to walk you through real quick from beginning to end how to get the most out of this module. First, in Foundry, we're going to create a new world. In this case, we are going to import the first Fist of the Ruby Phoenix adventure path, Despair on Danger Island. So I'm just going to name my world Ruby Phoenix. And I'm going to make the data path. I'm just going to call it Ruby. And for the game system, I'm going to pick Pathfinder 2nd Edition. And I'm going to do Create World. Next, what we're going to need to do is install the PDF to Foundry module, which is really easy. So underneath Foundry, we're going to go to the add-on modules. We're going to go to install module. I'm just going to type PDF, and you'll see PDF to Foundry comes up right here, the PF2E. So I'm going to click install. And just like that, the whole module is installed, ready to go. So let's go back to our Fists of the Ruby Phoenix game world and click launch world. We're going to log in as the Game Master. Uh, the first thing we're, we're going to need to do after the world loads is actually uh, enable the module because by default, all modules are turned off in a new world. So I will open the settings menu and go to manage modules. And I will find in here, if I type PDF, or if you don't have a lot of modules, you won't have to filter, but I will enable PDF to Foundry, save. It's going to reload and load that module up. So now, the module is loaded, but it doesn't look like anything's changed, right? Well, there's a new button under the settings menu here that's called PDF Importer. All we need to do is click that, and it's going to pop up a screen that shows for whatever version you currently have installed, which modules are supported. In this case, all the modules are hand-built by FryGuy, who basically hand-builds each scene from scratch and saves that into the module so that when you import all of the walls, all of the lighting, all of the journal entries, all of that get created automatically based on his sort of prototype world. Since we're doing Ruby Phoenix, you're going to click Source PDF. Now, you will need at this step the official PDFs from the Paizo website. So when you go to Paizo's website, you can buy any of the PDFs for the book. In this case, I'm doing it with Ruby Phoenix, but you can use any of the ones you see on this list. You're going to download two files. One is just the PDF. And the second file is the interactive maps file. You're going to need both of those to get the most out of this module. So you're going to ch click choose file. And in this case, I'm going to pick the uh, Ruby Phoenix Despair and Danger Island PDF. It's PZ090166E.PDF. And I'm going to now just click import PDF. And you'll see at the top, it's going through fetching pages. It literally reads through the module page by page, extracts all the text all the images, all the maps, and everything from your PDF copy. None of that's stored in the module. It does it from your PDF. Slowly but surely, you'll see it loops through. It starts importing all of the maps, everything. And you'll see a bunch of messages float by. Just give it a minute or two to finish doing its thing. And then we'll check back in. So now the import's done. We can go back to our world. And you can see it defaults to the first map, which in this case is the hex grid of Danger Island itself. You can see the layout of the map, all these journal notes that you can open that tell you what's at each location. And if we go over to the Scenes tab, we will see a folder made called Fist of the Reef Phoenix. And in here is every map that is in the module will be recreated here. So I can open, for instance, the Temple of Iori, which is, uh, sorry, the Temple of Aurori, Aurori? The Temple of Aurori, which is the home base for your PCs. And it looks cool. We can see the, the map. We can see the uh, each description of each room all ready to go. But I know what you're thinking. You're looking at this and you're saying, Steve, why is it so blurry? Well, 
The reason is, remember what I said, it extracts the images directly from the PDF and the PDFs have lower resolution images. Well, nobody wants to play on a virtual tabletop that looks like this, right? Well, that's where the second step comes in. Now, if you remember, I said, when you download the PDFs from Paizo, you get not only the PDF, but you get the interactive maps PDF, which include these images at a higher resolution, specifically kind of intended for virtual tabletops. So let me show you how this works. You go back to the PDF importer. We're going to go back and this time, instead of choosing the uh, regular PDF, we're gonna choose the interactive maps PDF. And then we're gonna click import. What'll happen now is it already realizes that it has all these scenes built. So it loads that PDF, takes the higher resolution images, loops through your world and updates all the images for you automatically. You see here, my image, as soon as it was replaced, refreshed. And now I've got a nice crisp high resolution image in the foundry world ready to go. So this looks a lot nicer. And if I go back to the hex grid, you'll see the same thing. The picture itself is a lot more crisp and that'll be true for all of the scenes that have now been built for us. On top of that, you can come over here to the journal section and you'll see in this folder, anything that was written text in the PDF in the module is now at your fingertips. I can click the getting started section and I have all the box text I need for the start of the, the module ready to go. Pretty easy, right? One thing to note is that it will not import the actors and the items and all of that. That's just handled by the base Pathfinder second edition system. So if you go to the compendium tab, you will see under actors, there will be a folder called Fist of the Ruby Phoenix. If I open this, all the actors that are going to exist in the entire adventure path have been made in this compendium and added for all users to reference, even without buying the PDF. The only thing you won't get are images, so it'll be up to you in order to add the images to the token. But if I want to go to a scene, I will open the ruin site. I get this nice, cool battle scene. I can just drag this archery specialist right here onto the column in the middle. And now my battle map is ready to go. My PCs are ready to fight. And I, in just less than 10 minutes, am ready to run the Fists of the Ruby Phoenix Adventure Path. Now, this module is really awesome. Make sure you head on over to Fry Guy's Patreon and support him because he pays for all of these out of his pocket and does this with his own time. So head on over to his Patreon, send him some money, send him your thanks, and I'll see you guys on Danger Island. Hi, Steve from Recall Knowledge here. If you enjoyed this content, please make sure to like and subscribe down below so you can get notified of more awesome content coming your way. Also, make sure to follow our channel's Twitter, at Recall Knowledge, for the latest information. Thanks for watching.